This is the beginning. We went the opposite direction from the blue reed. We wove it in and then we looped it around the end on the right hand side and brought it back in the opposite direction where it was over. Now it's under. That's correct. And now we are ready to do our next blue reed, which is going to be under this, over, under the one on the right, over the next one, under, over, under, and I'll show you this in just a minute. You'll see it. It's ending with being un over the uh, number six. Bring it up here. You won't be able to see this in just a second here. I'm just trying to get it close together. If we want it a three by three. And these, this is called a filler row. What we just did with the um, seagrass is called a filler row. Fills the space so that when we finish this basket, it actually has a um, solid bottom. It's not a open bottom, open weave bottom. Now what we do is we come around this new blue colored reed, come around it, and now we're going to start back. We want this pretty close. We're going to start back in the opposite direction. Under the one furthest to the left, over this next one, under, the third read. Again, I'm just trying to get this really down tight together. We always like to have our rows tight together and equal spaces. So I'm keep working it. Under the four, oh, or over the fourth rather, under the fifth. And over the sixth. This is the one on the far right. Come around and start back. If you see that, that we want this line to stay kind of at the top of this row too. So several things I'm doing here. We come around, under the one furthest to the right, over the next, under the third, over the fourth, under the fifth, up tight, and now we're over the last one, over the sixth read. Now we're ready to add another blue one, and we're going to keep doing this, keeping them really tight, going two rows with the seagrass, uh, making sure that your blue are alternating. This was over. The next one, the second one went under the first read. The third one will go over this read and etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna pause one more time and then I'll come back to show you the finished thing with all seven colored reads inserted. Okay, I want to show you the finished product here and point out a few things to just check, make a check to make sure that everybody's on track with this, um, that we're all doing the right thing here before we get to the next step. Um, so I want to show you that we've gone over and under and over and under. That is a traditional basket weave. That's what we're using for this particular basket on the base. This is the base. We're looking at the inside, at the wrong side, the rounded side of the flat oval reed for both the color and for the natural is down. We're looking at the flat side. We have two rows of seagrass that is in opposition to the row before it. So where the blue goes over, the seagrass first goes under and then goes over the next one, which means that the blue then goes under. So all of it should be in the traditional basket weave of over, under, over, under. If there are any issues there, you need to go back and correct that because it will mess up this forever. Also notice that because we have seven rows of color and six rows of natural, 
the color begins and ends this base. So we have one extra, one extra piece of color here at the bottom. So we don't end with the seagrass, we end with the flat oval reed. I've left the, the tails of the seagrass here, which we'll catch in the next step. And I've also checked both diameters, three inches and three inches, which is what we want. This basket is supposed to be three by three. So check all those things before we go any further. And that is the end of this video. In the next video, we'll start with the next step.